one whole year. As a recording, it has been exactly one year since I boarded the Astral Express and started my journey in Honkai Star Rail. This game has been nothing short of incredible, and some may even say it's better than Genshin Impact. While I agree in some areas, this game still has a handful of flaws, much like its predecessor. But what do I think of the game? I think this is a perfectly valid game to play, and it's incredible. It's easily one of the better gotchas out there, and it's just incredibly fun if you're a turn-based RPG enjoyer. If you don't like turn-based RPGs, then you're probably going to not want to play this game. Story-wise, this game's story has been incredible thus far. Like, Panacone was great, uh, the Laofu was great, Bellabog was okay, it had a really good hype moment that everyone was like, oh, okay then. But yeah, overall this game has been fantastic. So, let's get into all the characters that I have from year one. So, Kafka was one of my first uh, five-star characters. Uh, I started when Blade was around. So, Blade is my first five-star character. Uh, I haven't really done anything with him in a while, because, unfortunately, he has no good light cones except for this one and his best in slot. Uh, I haven't worked on him in a bit either, but I would love to use him again. Uh, next up was Kafka, and she was the first character whose light cone I pulled for, and my second character in total, and I got her on my first 10 pull. Don't believe me? Watch uh, my past video of me pulling for her, and Luca too. So I have her and her light cone. Here's her traces, what she's currently rocking, relic-wise. Uh, her stats, for now. Uh, I do plan on changing these out, because I am grinding the, um, the domain that has these and the follow-up attack set, because I need to work on pure fiction stuff. Badly. Uh, Clara is currently on hold, because Yunli is coming around the corner. And I'm shooting myself in the foot because I fucking knew this was going to happen. So, I'm hoping that Yunli is on par with Clara. And Clara is just a secondary option that I can use when there's two physical-based enemies. And two different things. Uh, I barely have used Firefly. I've only used her in Divergent Universe, which I will be making a video on after this. Uh, her traces are nearly maxed out. Uh, I was in the midst of grinding for her relics, but then I was like, mm, nah, I need to prioritize other shit. Uh, she's still at E1, and she doesn't have her best in slot, because I'm saving for Yunli. Like, I'm saving for Yunli, her light cone, and Huo Huo. That's a lot of hope to win two 50-50s back-to-back in the 75-25. Uh, Himiko has her best in slot, because of course she does. Uh, here's her traces. Her relics, I'm currently in the midst of grinding for the follow-up set, and I have her at E0. Uh, Jingdu was a case of uh, just like Blade, where I pulled because her animations were sick. Uh, she's probably one of my favorite destruction characters, purely because of how easy it is to build her. Like, you only need 50% crit rate, and then you're set. Because when she enters her Syzygy state, she gets another 50% crit rate. So every single hit will be a critical hit, which is insane. I also got her light cone at e, uh, or at S1. Here's our traces, her relics, which I need to work on, and then she's at E0. Uh, Japard, or Gepi, was my first five-star character from the um, starting banner. And I also have his best in the slot. I only have his best in slide because I lost the 75-25 to, on uh, Sparkle's banner. Because of course I did. So his uh, light is currently S1. Here's his traces. His relics, which I need to change. And then he's currently at E0. Uh, blade, I already showed off. E0. Uh, Bronya. I don't have her best in slot, but I feel like I'm going to very soon. Uh, here's her traces. I don't have her built at all, and she's at E1. Uh, here's Sparkle, 
who is probably one of my favorite characters design-wise. Um, I got her light cone. Here's her traces. Her relics, for now. And then at E0. Uh, Zila. She was the first character whose light cone I didn't pull for because I needed to save for future characters. Uh, do I regret pulling for her? Honestly, no. Even if I... Even if I don't use her as often as I want to, she, she's still a very solid unit to have. So, here's her traces. No relics. And E1. Or E0. Silver Wolf. She's another one of my favorites design-wise. She's incredible. Uh, I got her light cone. Uh, here's her traces. No gear yet. And then E0. Uh, and Bobber Lune was a must-have, purely so I could have a good DPS unit for Swarm Disaster. And if you say, oh, but you have Ratio, I regret to inform you that Ratio is not a good free-to-play unit, he's, nor is he fun to use. Old friends meet yet again. Uh, he's currently on, under the blue sky. He was with Fall of an Aeon, but I was using Firefly and Divergent, and that is a much better light cone for her, I feel. Uh, here's his traces. His gear for now, and he is also at E0. And then here is Dr. Ratio, aka the free man himself. Uh, I did a test run with him in Divergent, and I got mollywhopped because I fought the ape, and the ape didn't want to die. Uh, barely touched him at all. Relics barely touched at all. Um, he has a really good piece. I think it's this. I don't remember. Um, but obviously, all of it is ass. And then E0 as well. Um, anything else? Don't believe so. So that's it for characters. Uh, here's all of my current materials that I have. All of my light cones. All of the relics that I currently have in possession. And then literally everything else. I've got currently uh, 14 pulls and... Whatever this amount is. Uh, 22777. Uh, I will not be pulling for Jade or Argenti. I am saving for Yunli, as I've already stated. Uh, in terms of endgame stuff... Do you want to enter the Forgotten? Uh, I've been barely doing Memory of Chaos because I don't have good gear for that, nor do I have enough characters to clear it. Like, I could have barely done this, right? So, there's that. Uh, pure fiction wise, pure fiction wise, I did this, I did this the other day, and I'm actually happy about that. But I haven't gotten max stars at all in Pure Fiction. Because, again, I don't have enough units uh, built to even think about doing this. So, there's that. Uh, as for the new game mode, Apocalyptic Shadow, uh, I only did it the one time. I only did it once, and that was it. I feel like I would need to have my characters built stronger to even think about doing it. So, yeah. Um, what else? In terms of simulated universe, bullcrap. Uh, I have all the worlds cleared. I have all uh, the stuff. Uh, my ability tree is maxed. Uh, heard a store. I have everything except for the new light cone or uh, the four more. But I was specifically saving because I knew this was going to happen. Um... In terms of swarm, 
I've completed this. I haven't done this yet. Because it's not worth it in my opinion. And I've completed all the levels. Ex and I haven't done Torturous difficulty. And I don't plan on it. Uh, this is almost fully done. But that's mostly because this is a pain in my keister. I ain't doing that. And I haven't done any of these yet, either, but I have a strong feeling it's similar to this. But I do have Propagation as a chosen blessing, or chosen path that I can do. Much like with this, where this is fully completed, except for doing uh, Torturous Difficulty. So, this is done. Uh, these are all done, but I haven't done this. Or either of these two. And I don't plan on it for a long while. Uh, in terms of Divergent Universe, I'm still currently going through that. But... To show my current progress... I am currently level 32 with 94% and 20 of 24 array. Uh, here's my circuit. So you can see what I prioritized. Uh, I barely did anything with this. Oh. Cool. I have that unlocked now. Awesome. Uh, same thing as before. There's that. Uh, I am currently on uh, Torturous Threshold Protocol 3, and it is currently kicking my ass. I have been unsuccessful, but I'm probably just using the wrong teams, or wrong units for a team. So there's that. But I've cleared everything else. Uh, all of this is max, except for this. Uh, as for the gallery, I have found every single blessing. I have seven more curios left. I have I found every single equation, found every weighted curio, and because of course I haven't found all of the occurrences yet. Um, yeah, I'm still missing this one, and this one has avoided me like the plague. Purely because you need three different curios, and you have to hope to God none of them get broken. So there's that. Uh, huh. I haven't gotten the Wax Seal of Erudition, the Fool's Mask, or the, uh, uh, the Revive one yet, which is surprising. Still haven't gotten this one, which is only from Occurrences, and then I have yet to get two of the Cuckoo Clocks. But, yeah, that's Divergent. Uh, in terms of map stuff, uh, every single zone is 100% completed. Because, unlike in Genshin, the exploration in this game is actually good. Because you have infinite stamina, which is amazing. And it is very easy to 100% uh, the maps. It just takes like an hour per map, usually. Roughly 30 minutes to an hour. So, yeah. Yeah, all the maps are 100% completed. Um, what else? In terms of achievements, this is what I have so far. I don't go out of my way to get the achievements. Maybe sometimes, depending on how easy it is, slash if I need, just need that little push uh, for more jades, but that's about it. But yeah, that's about everything I wanted to cover, I believe. Uh... This game has been really fun, and really kind to me, considering that I won, what was it, 6 plus 50-50s in a row? And then I lost when it mattered the most for a sustainer? But that's perfectly fine. I probably would be having a hard time with this game if I didn't win the 50-50s. Because this is not a skill-based game, thankfully. It's just about 
how many units do you have, and how many of those units are 5 stars? Because the 5 stars in this game, compared to Genshin, are actually fucking good. There's very few bad 5 star characters in this game. Like, almost every 5 star is viable in some way, shape, or form. Unless your name is Dr. Ratio, in which case there's only one team that you work really well for. And you need three specific 5 stars as well. Anyway. So, yeah. This game has been great. I cannot wait for the future to come. And expect some more videos on this game for a while. Because I will be doing 2.4 cutscenes. I will be doing Yonli Pulse. As well as Huo Huo and uh, Yonli Light Cone. And whatever else the future may hold. So, until then, I've been Rikishi, signing off.